Hello everyone, hope you're okay this week. I wonder, do you like hats as much as I do? I've got a few over to the side here and I wonder if you can tell me and shout it out or write in the bottom, when would I wear this hat or who would wear it? So I'm gonna start with one first. Are you ready for this one? When would this hat be worn? What do you reckon? Have you got it? You're right. When I go out on my bike, that's when I would wear that hat. What about, what kind of weather might I wear this hat in? <gasps> Any clues? You're right, in the sunny weather. And actually there's been more than one occasion where I've needed that this year. Oh, what about this one? Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite ones, what do you reckon? It's good. A good look when would I wear this one oh you're right when I mean, it's cold and it would keep my head very very warm oh I like this one when would I wear this one do you think what do you think what do you reckon I could be a cowgirl do you reckon I could be I'd wear it at a fancy dress party or something wouldn't I if I was dressing up as someone and finally what about this one it's not really so much of a hat as a fascinator, but when do you think I might wear this? Do you think it's pretty? You're absolutely right. I'd wear this to a wedding, wouldn't I? Or to some very special thing. And in fact, I did wear it to a wedding a few years ago, to more than wedding, one wedding actually. And I'm glad that we're thinking about weddings today because the story that I want to tell you is about a wedding that Jesus went to. Now, when you go to a wedding or when you prepare a wedding or something like a big party, you've got to think of everything. You need to have the right clothes on, you need to be where you need to be, you need good food, you need lots of drink. And Jesus and his mother Mary were invited to a very special wedding and you can find it in our Bible. And part way through the wedding, something really bad happened. They ran out of drink. They ran out of wine. There was nothing for any of the guests to eat and to drink. <gasps> what were they going to do? Well, Mary heard the people and the servants saying, oh no, what are we going to do? And she just said to them, do whatever Jesus tells you. That is such good advice. Mary knew Jesus, didn't she? She knew what he was like. And they came to them and said, Jesus, your mother Mary says that we need to do what you do. And so Jesus said, well, over there you can see six large jars. Now go and fill them up with water. Water? Water? They don't want to drink water at a wedding. But they remembered. What did Mary say? Do whatever Jesus tells you to do. So that's exactly what they did. They took the jars and they filled them up with water. And they were huge. It took a long time to fill them. And when they'd finished, Jesus said, Now take some of it and go and show it to the master. So they took some of the water out of the big jar and they went and they took and they poured it out for the man who owned the, the way who was running the wedding. <gasps> it wasn't water anymore. Jesus had turned it into wine. And the, mm, mm, the host of the wedding said, Whoa, this is the best wine ever. Most people give the best wine at the beginning. And then when everybody's had enough, they, check, they give out the cheaper stuff, but no, you've saved the best to last. And you know, that was the first miracle, the first amazing thing that Jesus ever did. And it was in a place called Cana, and you can read about it in your Bible. And it was the first miracle. And all over this term, we've been thinking about the amazing things that God has done, like pulling back the water so that Moses could run across the bottom of the riverbed, f making the walls fall down all around Jericho. But today's amazing story has been about Jesus, and this is Jesus, and he made the water turn into wine. Now, 
I've got a lovely craft for you to do and I hope you can have a go with it with me. And it's very easy and will remind you of this story. You need three long kitchen tubes or six toilet rolls. Now this is half of one and I've started the craft already so that you're not going to get bored. And you need something that is sort of clay coloured so that you can make one of your jars. You're going to need six of these jars all together. Let me show you. So I'm just going to put some glue onto this piece of clay coloured paper. You don't really need to do that because I think that the inside of the kitchen rolls or the toilet tubes are about the right colour anyway. But if you want to make it look nicer, then that will be good. Oh. And then roll it up so that all the glue sticks. Now, I've done five others here. Look, can you see them? One, two, three, four, five. And what I've done, I've stapled them all together. So I'm just going to hold them like that. And I'm going to put my stapler inside and just give them a staple to hold them all together. You'll see why later. And I'm just stapling that one. Now, all my six jars all ready to fill with water. Now, what's the water going to be? Well, the water is going to be pieces of blue tissue. Now, to get the blue tissue to stick inside, you need to just put a bit of glue inside of all of them. This is such good fun. And you can have really good fun making a mess of this. And you literally just put your paper in and so it looks like there's water in all of these. Pop it in, stick it around, and this is your water. Can you imagine? And you could tell the story as you're doing it. The servants all filled up the jars with lots and lots of water. And they did exactly what Jesus had told them. Now, so that we can remember that this is water, I've made a little label and you can do the same and I've just written water on it and now I'm just going to stick that label on the front so that we can see that that's water but that's not how the story ended was it so I'm going to flip these over and this time I've got some red tissue and we're going to do exactly the same put the glue inside the rim and it will all stick And the red will show us that the water has turned into red wine. Isn't that just amazing? And you can make this very simply. If you haven't got tissue paper, you could always just colour in some other bits of paper. Now, the water was on that side. And now that it's facing this one, I've got a label here that says wine and I'm just going to put it this way up and stick it on. So here you have your craft. Now, at the beginning of the story, they were filled with water. And then after Jesus had done the amazing thing, it turned into wine. Now you can have a go at making that yourself. And I'd love to see what you do. There's also loads of other things on Pinterest and online that you could do that would be a craft that would go with this story. I'd love to see what you make. But just before I go, let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you did this amazing miracle, that you took water and turned it into wine, and that the servants believed that you could do something. They listened to Mary when they said, do what Jesus says. And Lord Jesus, we want to do what you say. We want to do the right thing. We want to follow your instructions. And will you help us do that this week? Amen hope you have a great week. I'd love to see your craft and anything that you can make, show it on the pictures below and we'd love to see it. Have a super time. Bye.